Hi folks, welcome back to the shop here at Project Pine Hills. Today we're talking about these Condipex automatic wire strippers. You can see the part number is 1262-180SB. A quick look at the back, you can see that they adapt automatically to the respective cable cross section, which prevents the conductor from being damaged. They're for single, multiple, and fine stranded cables from 0.2 millimeter up to six millimeter. They have a adjustable length stop from six millimeters to 18 millimeters. You can see that right there and they're made in Germany. I'll have a link to these in the description so you can check them out. All right, let's take a look at these wire strippers. You can see right here, they have that Knipex part number, that 1262180 right on the side. The tool is self-documenting, so right here they tell you it can do from 24 to 10 gauge wire, that AWG is American wire gauge, or in millimeters, it's 0.2 millimeters to six millimeters. You can see right here at the top, they have a wire cutter, that's documented as well. It can cut up to two and a half millimeter wire. Flip the tool around here, you can see it's made in Germany. Now, how does this work? And here it has a depth gauge or a length stop that goes anywhere from six millimeters to 18 millimeters. That's this red piece right here. Right now it's on 18 millimeters. If I grab this and pinch it, I can move it all the way up. You can see it has a little tooth right here on the front that connects here in these slots. That's at six millimeter. I can pinch it, pull it all the way back to that 18 millimeter depth right there. So that's your depth gauge or your depth stop there for the tool and your wire stripper is right here on the front end. So the way this works is when you grab the trigger, this squeezes down on the wire here and it has these V jaws right here. You can see that that top V jaw is gonna grab the wire on top and pull it back. And you'll notice that bottom jaw stays where it's at. So it pulls off the insulation. Now I'll show you how it works here real quick. I've got this 12 gauge Romex wire. You can push this wire right back to that length stop here in the back, that red piece. And if I squeeze down the trigger, you can see that it strips the wire just that quick. It grabs that shielding on the top, pulls it back. See, I put it on here, you can see that top tooth, that V-jaw at the top comes into contact with the sheathing on the top, strips it back, while that bottom jaw stays fixed in this location right here. So that's how it works. And of course we have that wire cutter on top. We can just push our wire right through here and you can see how that wire cutter works. Got that cutter on the top, just pulls right down through the wire. So you got a convenient wire cutter there right on top of these wire strippers. Now the cutter on here, of course, is for soft wire. So it's designed to cut aluminum and copper. This link stop on here is replaceable and so are the cutting jaws. Now let's look at how it works on other wire. I've got some 18 gauge speaker wire here and I'm just gonna put that right back in here in the tool and let's just see how it does here real quick. You can see it strips it off, no problem. I can just pull that insulator off and you can see the stranded wire there is undamaged. So no problem stripping that speaker wire. Here I've got a network wire. It's eight conductors or four pair low voltage wire. And let's see how well it takes the sheathing off of this. I just pop this in here. And you can see they cut that off, no problem. Did not damage the conductors at all. And you can see they have those four pairs there. So I'm just gonna take one of these wires and separate it. And let's see how well it strips that small wire. So put that right in there. We're gonna pull it back and strip that insulation right off. So you can see it was able to strip the insulation right off that solid copper wire. So that's how well they automatically adjust to different size wire. Hey, I wanted to talk to you real quick about today's video sponsor, FlexiSpot. Now they were kind enough to send me this FlexiSpot E6 standing desk. This one has a special walnut top with black frame. You can also get it in bamboo, mahogany, and black as well. The desk has dual motors. Here's a look at the controls. It goes from 24.4 inches all the way up to 50 inches. So you just touch this arrow up to make it go up. And it also has four memory presets, one showing the standing icon, one showing a sitting icon, and then two other positions. Now, another great thing about this desk, it has anti-collision control. You can see if I have it going up in standing mode, and if I just tap this desk, it knows it's come in contact with something and it stops. Now, a lot of standing desks are made of flimsy aluminum. This one is made of automotive grade steel. You can see I have it at its highest setting of 50 inches, and you can see as you wobble it, it's very stable, even at this height. And you can see that all the cables are well hidden under the desk. So it has all these great features that are very good price. Now this has a total lift capacity of 325 pounds. Now I've added weight to it for a total combined weight of 200 pounds, including that Vito tool bag and that tool pouch. And you can see that it lifts that weight, no problem. Now this flexi spot has easy to follow instructions. I like how the parts were laid out alphabetically, easy to follow. I also like the fact it comes with wheels, you have a choice to put these on or just feet. That makes it great to use as a workbench. So that's the standing desk from FlexiSpot. I'll have a link in the description so you can check it out. It makes an excellent desk or workbench. And now let's get back to the video. Now this part of the tool is a tension adjustment. You can see it has a negative symbol and a positive symbol up here. I've got it on the lowest setting because I think that's a good place to start when you're using this tool. But if you find that it's not stripping wire, especially if you're stripping something that's really small gauge like this, you might need to increase the tension there. You can see it's on both sides. So you would just grab this and just pull it forward to a different 
to, to a higher setting and you can pull it all the way forward if you want and it's just going to give you more tension if you have a piece of wire that happens to not strip initially you can push this up to a higher setting and try it again kinepix has other automatic wire strippers but they cost at least double of what these cost and that's why i bought this particular model it was relatively inexpensive it was a good way to try out a pair of automatic wire strippers and just see how they how they work out now this tool is made of a fiberglass infused polymer and it's got a, this red rubber over mode over the handle here in the back now the handles don't lock open that might be nice if you want to store them in a bag it would make them a little more compact wicon also makes a pair of automatic wire strippers i'll have a link in the description you can check those out and they're also made in germany but they have a switch up here that you can flip and lock the handles into this position and i'll also have a link to the other kinepex wire strippers as well if you're interested in those because they do cover wider wire gauges, like for example, the Kinepex 1252-195s will do wire gauges between 5 and 28 gauge, So, but they don't have this small head on me that these have. One thing I like about these, if you have an electrical box and you have wires in here that are short, you can reach up in the box and this head on this is small enough to reach in the box here and you could still use these wire strippers. It's nice that you can, you can do that. For example, you take your typical wire strippers you know you can't really get in there to strip those if you happen to deal with some short wire in an existing installation so uh, it's one of the neat things about the design of this that you won't see on the more expensive pairs that again cost about double what these cost now one drawback to this versus carrying a standard pair of wire strippers is you won't have the ability to twist wire or cut larger gauge wire like you can in these cutters of course with a regular pair of wire strippers you can cut full room x no problem. You can't do that with these wire strippers, so that's a drawback. I've used some different wire strippers here. I got these Milwaukee 6 one wire strippers that work great. I've also got a pair of high leverage Milwaukee wire strippers have sort of that duckbill on them. They work great as well. I keep all these in different locations. And then I have these latest pair that I have here, these Kinepex wire strippers, which also work great. And all these are sort of a hybrid pair of wire strippers, right? They give you a lot of features in one tool. So kind of combining a pair of linemen with, uh, with a wire stripper. So if you're going somewhere on site, and you're working and you want to carry just one tool you probably want to carry your regular wire strippers but if you're doing production work or automotive work at a bench you know you just can't beat this to quickly be able to strip any type of wire especially if you're dealing with stranded wire or network cable it's just a really fast way to uh to strip the to strip wire and it's compact enough if you look at this like i want to compare this here see how, how it compares in terms of size to this milwaukee six and one so if you're thinking about how much space it's going to take in your bag you know it gives you an idea right there you can see of course it's a lot smaller than the high leverage uh, milwaukee uh, strippers and here's how it compares to the knipex in terms of size so just kind of give you an idea of how much space you can expect to take that's what i liked about them they were really compact and a lot of times you can look at these on amazon you'll you can find them on sales. I think it's a really excellent tool, relatively inexpensive, something really great to try out. I think it really can add to your productivity and especially stripping multiple gauges of wire and just doing it really quickly. All right, there you have it, folks. That's the Knipex Automatic Wire Strippers. I'll have a link in the description so you can check them out. Let me know in the comments what you think of these automatic wire strippers. And please remember to like and subscribe. All those actions help me to continue to bring content to you here on the Project Panels channel. And with that said, check out this next video.